I want to show you guys the weirdest way to integrate x times e to the x. And I promise you guys this is not about the DM method. So check this out. When we integrate a function, it's just the same as doing the reverse derivative, right? So we can look at this as the negative first derivative. So d negative 1 dx negative 1 of the function x times e to the x. And then we are going to find a formula for the nth derivative of this and then plug in negative 1. So let's make some observations. OBS. Okay, if we do the first derivative, well, we will have to use the product rule. So keep the first function times the derivative of the second, and we add the second function times the derivative of the first, which you get 1. And of course, right here, we can just factor out e to the x, and that's right here, x plus 1 times e to the x. And now let's do it again. So here we have d2, dx2, and we get, well, Look at this right here. This is the first function. Let's keep that. And then we multiply by the derivative of the second, which is e to the x. And we add the second function times the derivative of the first, which is just 1. Have a look. We can factor out e to the x again. Let's put it right here. And we see what? x plus 1 plus another 1. So this is x plus 2. And as you can see, when we are talking about the second derivative, this is x plus 2. And earlier, it was the first derivative, and we had x plus 1. Well, let's do one more time. If we have the third derivative, d3 dx3 of x times e to the x. Keep the first function times the derivative of the second, plus the second function times the derivative of this. Okay, factor out e to the x again, and then you see x plus 2 plus 1, so that's x plus 3. Look at that. So, you see that if this keeps on going, we have dn, meaning the nth derivative. Alright, this right here will just be x plus n, and then times e to the x. And as you can see, right here we have n is equal to negative 1. So, if we put negative 1 right here, we'll just get x minus 1, and then times e to the x. And of course, this is doing the integral, so don't forget to put down plus c, and that's it. Well, is this correct? Well, let's go ahead and double check. Right here, this is our integral. Let's of course use the dr method to check. So d and also the i, plus, minus, plus, I will be differentiating x, and I will be integrating e to the x. Differentiating one time, we get 1, do it one more time, we get 0, and then e to the x is just always e to the x when you integrate. And ladies and gentlemen, this times this is x times e to the x, and then minus e to the x. And after that, we'll put on plus c. So of course, this right here. Yeah, what do you guys think? And now, a little question before you guys go. What if we put on some weird number for n? Let's see, what if we have the pi right here, meaning the pi's derivative <laughs> of x times e to the x? Do we really just end up with x plus pi times e to the x? Well, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I know there's something called the fractional calculus. You can talk about the half derivative. So maybe this is somewhat legit. I don't know, but let me tell you guys this before we go though. This method only works, I think it's just like a coincidence for this one. Maybe this kind of things works for other functions as well, but I'm not sure. I just did this on the other day, and then I realized if we put negative 1 right here, that actually becomes the integral. So I just want to show you guys that. Yeah. So if you guys know any other functions that happens to be like this as well, leave a comment down below and let me know. Right, as always, that's it.